Good evening. I'm Lenka DeVore and welcome to Nottingham News. Tonight's main headlines. Guards crack down on the sale of illicit seditious materials. We have an update from Jessie Finch on her task force's progress in pursuing the terrorist Will Scarlett. And a fire breaks out in Western East Mercia threatening Alderbridge crop farms. Whew, but first, our main story. Nottingham's heroic guardsmen have taken down a ring of black market dealers who specialise in the distribution of seditious material. We can't show you what's on those shirts, but the criminals have protested that their products are harmless and are only meant to show appreciation for a local celebrity and public figure. That's an interesting description for a terrorist, wouldn't you say? While it's true that this type of product is not currently illegal, the people responsible have been detained for trading without a merchant's license, and they are currently being investigated for links to Will Scarlett and the Greenwood terrorists. Well, folks, it's just more proof that the security bill must pass as soon as possible so we can keep this filth off our streets and away from honest citizens like yourselves. With all these treasonous weeds springing up, it's a good job we have an expert gardener on hand to root them out. <laughs> Senior eye operative Jesse Finch, in an interview today, commented on last week's success in preventing the theft of dangerous weapons and dropped hints that she's closer than ever to bringing these terrorists to justice. Yes, it's true that he wasn't present for the robbery. But we did manage to capture one of his senior lieutenants, and we're confident that we will extract some valuable information from him soon. I can't go into detail, of course, but I think you can expect some extremely good news in the next coming weeks. Meanwhile, what we should be focusing on is that thanks to my team's efforts, none of the guns have fallen into the wrong hands. Extremely good news, eh? <laughs> well, that certainly sounds encouraging. Keep it up, Jesse. We're all rooting for you here at Nottingham News. And now for the weather, with some worrying developments. The weather warning remains firmly in the red today, as rising temperatures have led to an increasing risk of fires. The first fire of the season has already broken out in the Duchy of Malston on the outskirts of Derby. The fire started in scrubland beyond the city limits before quickly spreading onto adjacent farms. Luckily, first responders were on hand to douse the flames before any injuries could occur, but not before a significant amount of crops and arable land were lost. Lady Aldridge, Duchess of Malston, has expressed her deep regret at the incident and was quick to praise the swift efforts of the emergency services in containing the blaze. In other news, the Grain Marketing Board has regretfully announced that the price of grain is to rise by 6% following the recent destruction of crops in farms around East Mercia. Further increases are not being ruled out in the light of the possibility of more fires. Guards intervened to quell a violent protest outside the Meaden's textile factory following the death of three workers on site. Striking employees demand an increase in safety standards, despite a spokesperson for Maidens confirming that employees are responsible for their own safety, as is set out in law. Several arrests were made and the protesters are being investigated for possible terrorist links. The palace wishes to remind citizens that hunting for treasure in the sunken towns of Trent Bay between Nottingham and Leicester is strictly forbidden. An increase in demand on the black market has led to a spate of arrests as criminals dive to obtain these relics of a time before the Great Flooding of 1921. But diving there without a permit carries a hefty fine, and trading in stolen goods could land you in the pits. So think twice before you strap on that scuba gear. It's just not worth it. In celebrity news, it looks like a comeback is on the cards for former pop icon and one-time heartthrob, Michael Tuck. But 
Don't get your throwing knickers out just yet, folks, as it seems his return to showbiz will be behind the scenes, with Tuck turning producer, working on the new album Hackety Rising by young up-and-comers, The Pearl Avenue. The band are reportedly keen to learn from the experienced star. <laughs> well, here's hoping they avoid repeating his drunken mistakes. <laughs> Meet the Inner Circle's fattest cat. Bella, a three-year-old Burmese cat from Snayton, has officially been crowned queen of this year's fat cats extravaganza. Her owners, Michael and Henry Wollerton, are delighted that Bella has lazed and snoozed her way to the top, and they'll be using the prize money to build her a little palace she can lounge in to her heart's content. <laughs> Make sure they get you some air conditioning for that palace, Bella. <laughs> And this has been Nottingham News. Thank you for tuning in. For more stories and information, go to our website on screen now and in the link below. Until next time, goodbye. And may Hecate bless you. <laughs>